don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, then click all. Thanks! Hi everyone, welcome back. I am here to show you my nails after I took off all the white poly gel and builder gel that I've been wearing all summer long. I don't even know when I first put that on. Maybe back in May? Maybe April or May? Right around in there. And so I cut the nails down and removed all that gel. And that's what my nails look like after. They look really good. No complaints. Your nails should always be healthy underneath your product. They, there should be nothing wrong with them. Here's my thumbs. Of course, this thumb is the shorter one. It's my trouble thumb. It's the one that I hurt a couple years ago. I actually broke it, I believe. Oh, it was terrible. But anyways, um, you can see a few little splinter hemorrhages. That's what dark lines are. And those are caused by injuries, bumping your nails. And for me, that would be getting them caught in the kitchen cupboards. I do that a lot and it kind of bends your nail. But yeah, those do grow out. And that's what a splinter hemorrhage looks like up close. This one was actually way down here and it's growing out. And then there's another one. And again, caused by the kitchen cupboards. You know, when you put your finger inside the the loop you know on your cupboard or handle and it kind of gets bent back that's what happens to me a lot so that's what happened to my thumb and I filed off all of the product with carbide bits I said that I remove all of my product with carbide bits and I want to just give you like a quick rundown on how I do that now when I start with the bulk of the product on the nail I use a coarse carbide bit and I use that to get through a lot of that thick bulk of product that's on the nail and reduce it way down till you have like a thin layer over your nail and then I put that away and I grab the medium carbide and this one I again come in and get the rest of that product mostly off and you'll start to see bits of the nail show through and then I will put that one down and grab the extra fine carbide bit and do the rest of the filing and with the medium and especially the the extra fine one here you're not putting any pressure okay at all just very little pressure on the nail just to remove what is left okay light movements you know no pressure at all you should remove the rest of the product with this extra fine with your cuticle bit this is what I use and you can go around your cuticle area clean that up once that's done I take a buffer with some oil this is a fine buffer and I buff the nail all over and then I come in with this ball bit. This is like extra fine, okay? And what I do is I apply some oil around the nail and around the skin right here. And then I take this ball bit and I just kind of exfoliate right around that skin. You wanna do this with cuticle oil, okay? So just put a generous amount of cuticle oil Okay, so I have the bit in the e-file, and I'm going to turn this up, and we're going to turn it up to about maybe, we'll start up about 17 RPMs, okay? I just go right around the skin here, just kind of exfoliating any of that hard, rough skin that's around you know the nail fold here it just gives it a nice smooth look you can get a little bit close to that proximal nail fold there just a little bit some people have little bits of dry skin there and cracks 
where they're peeling vegetables and different things like that causes the skin to you know get a little cracks and discoloration at least that's what happens to me so I can use this tool and get that off see the little bits of dead skin coming off just smooths everything out makes it look nice see how nice it looks looks really good the nails look nice and healthy I just want to tell you too that if you ever see any classes on e-files on how to operate them you should really take them and learn how to use the e-file in a proper manner because once you learn it's so easy to take off product that you never want to soak again I mean never um, and if you are efficient in the e-file use it makes it just a lot easier yeah I just wanted to share with you that little bit of information show you how my nails look again thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye